Dakar 2025 has officially come to an end. This year's winners in T1 Plus category are Yazid Al Raji and Timo Goskal from Overdrive Racing. Dakar Rally is not just a competition, it's one of the toughest motorsport events in the world. It is a race of extremes and brutal conditions which tests both the drivers and their cars to the limit. The Dakar Rally was originally held in Africa, starting in Paris and finishing in Dakar, Senegal. Since 2009 it has been hosted in South America and now in the Middle East, with the 2025 edition taking place in Saudi Arabia. Over the years, Dakar cars has evolved significantly. While they are built with the strong suspensions, durable engines and reinforced chassis, dynamics is also an important factor. And today we are going to test a 3D model of Dakar car and see how dynamic it is. At the front, we can see the airflow slows down, which isn't ideal for dynamics. However, this design emphasizes engine cooling with radiators ensuring that the car performs well in hot conditions. Moving down, we can see the airflow remains attached, which is a great sign for dynamic performance. Dakar cars are built with a high ground clearance to handle rocks and uneven terrain. This means they can't generate much downforce as sport cars. In this case, keeping the car high off the ground is more important to avoid the damage during the race. Over the hood, the airflow speed ups, creating low pressure area that generates a positive lift, reducing overall downforce. Around the A-pillar, near the front windshield, the airflow separates slightly, creating a small wake and a high pressure area. This is a common issue in the most vehicles, as the sharp angle of the A-pillar causes the airflow to detach and form wake. While it's good for downforce in the front area, it is not ideal in terms of drag coefficient. On the roof, the airflow accelerates again, creating another lower pressure area that results in a positive lift which is not ideal for stability of the car. Next, we observe a large wake forming behind the car. The airflow separates due to the boxy rear design. If the rear section were less sharp, this would likely result in reduced flow, separation and improved aerodynamic performance. For example, vehicles like Dakar Ford Raptor and Dacia Sunrider have less sharp rear end designs, which allow the airflow to stay attached, reducing drag. Another notable example is Martin Prokop's car, which has changed significantly in terms of aerodynamic since 2022. In particular, they have created long tail bodywork to reduce flow separation and wake behind the car. While these changes can enhance aerodynamic performance, they come with a trade-off. The additional parts in the rear section increase the overall weight of the car. This illustrates the balance between improving aerodynamics and managing vehicle mass, which is crucial in races like the Dakar Rally. Interestingly, the particular 3D model places the spare rear wheels quite high. I believe putting them lower could improve the car's overall mass balance. However, the modern Dakar Toyota Hilux has its spare tires positioned closer to the center of the car, which provides a much better overall mass distribution. The drag orbit highlights the most critical areas of the car in terms of aerodynamics. For this particular model, the components generating the most drag are the side mirrors, rear section, fender and wheels. The large wheels of the Dakar car create a significant wake. If we take a look from upside, we can notice that additional wake forms in the front of windshield and also just behind the side mirrors. Fortunately, the wake isn't that big compared to our pickup cars. The design of the side mirrors is smart, they are small and close to the car's body. Next, we have fenders. Their purpose is to generate downfalls in the front area. However, we can clearly see that airflow begins to move over the fender and then detaches. This highlights why modern Toyota Hilux models feature wider and larger fenders, they are designed to manage airflow more effectively. This 3D model has a drag coefficient of 0.46, which is quite good for a Dakar car. For comparison, a standard Dodge Ram has a drag coefficient of 0.59, a Ford Raptor is about 0.56, the lift coefficient of this particular model is 0.15, it is also good considering the high ground clearance. Overall, this 3D model of a Dakar car performs great, but there are several key areas for improvement. 
hasting the design of fenders, refining the rear section and optimizing the spare wheel position could significantly boost its performance. These changes could lead to a better result in demanding conditions of the Dakar Rally race.